Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and I'm trying something a little different with my filming today. So we're going to see how this works for this Marguerite Miller challenge and whether it will actually be worth it. I may end up, well, we'll see. So this is week nine and I need a wild animal for which I have a panda. I know he doesn't look very wild. He is so cute and I love pandas. They are my favorite animal. Uh, pandas and kittens. So I I say that my spirit animal is probably a cat, but it might be a panda. Uh, a part of a tree with blossoms. I don't have that. I have looked for an image of a tree with blossoms and I'm just not finding anything and it's holding me back. So I thought, okay, time to just let it go um, and move on to the bonus. But I need a part of my a recipe that I enjoy making. Oh, chocolate chip oatmeal cookies are my absolute favorite recipe. I have this recipe. It's been handed down in my family for a couple of generations. When I, It was one of the first things that I learned how to make when I was uh, old enough to start making things on my own. This was the, the recipe that I chose all the time and made all the time. It says a specialty of for me, and it absolutely is. This is... This is one of my go-tos when I need a comfort day. I will make chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. I'll make a double batch. I'll put a bunch of them in the freezer and then eat them frozen. Oh, absolutely wonderful. So that's my recipe. And I'm going to put the whole card in there because this is actually a copy. Although you can tell it's been used, um, but it's a copy of one. A book page. I have a book page here out of a science book that says a complete gas plant on this side it says a field problem it was from a textbook a science textbook from the 1940s or 50s and it is obviously uh, not quite as up to date i remember these this type of gas plant i am old enough to remember those in the city of rochester something that came in the mail i have a dick blick holiday catalog that um if this is from the holiday of 2023. This was most recent holiday catalog. Um, and I'm going to take a page out of that. In fact, I'm going to take the drawing pages out of there, the sketch, because it's all paper. And that's really what I'm using. And I have to use the bonus, a date or anything from a calendar. This was from a January 2021 calendar that I don't know why it was still hanging around, but I found it and I said, perfect. We will deal with that. So um, I thought about putting the calendar down as my background, but the reality is I'd want it to be this way. And I definitely need the 19th showing. I'm going to actually cut this down just a little bit. I'm going to cut it at the Thursday. So Friday and Saturday are going to be missing from my calendar. That's all right. And I'm just going to even it off a little bit here because obviously I ripped it out of a calendar or out of the, the pack. We'll throw that away. So I have my calendar. And I'm going to just take this page out of this particular catalog. I haven't used this one as a glue book yet. But I might just do that today. Because I don't know where it happened. Oh, there it is. There's my other catalog. This is the one I've been working on. So we'll keep this one. We'll keep using this one. All right. First things first, we need glue. And I know that this part is off camera. And um, we'll come on camera a little bit. If you have not watched my process videos for making a collage before, um, the glue that I am using to put this down is just a cheap glue. This is Dollar Tree, uh, three sticks for a buck and a quarter glue. I'm not too worried about it because um, so far all of the pages that I have done this on, it has stuck just fine. So I think I'm okay with it, at least for this kind of purpose. I, I don't use this on journals that I sell because um, I want to make sure that that's a little bit better done. 
Okay, I don't need all of the price points, so I'm going to cut this here. And I just want the sketch pad part. And, hmm, I have that one actually that I do use. I don't think I need this part. So we're going to take that part out and it gets recycled. And I don't need it to say drawing pads 20 to 50% off. Let me get rid of that part too. I kind of like the torn edges, so maybe I can tear this a little bit. I'm going to tear this down so it doesn't take up quite so much space on the page. Yeah, this is kind of fun. You're just tearing things apart to make them do what you want them to do. Okay, maybe we'll just stick that down here. That's my something that came in the mail. Um, my wild animal. Um, do I want to put the whole page there? Maybe I want the whole page. If I put the whole page there. Hmm. Hmm. I want to cut this down a little bit more. I think, you know what? I'm just going to do that because I want some of those dates to show a little bit better. I want that to do that, because I still have, and I'm gonna put this so that it flips, so that it flips open so that you can see it. I could put you right on there, or oh, I've still got the book page. How, um, a book page, do I want the whole book page? Do I want just the, I love the picture, the gas plant. I think we're gonna take the gas plant out of here. And we're going to use that picture. And I know probably it was meant to do like text. And I'm going to be putting a picture in instead. There. But that's kind of what the, the cool part of this is. Is that everybody looks at it the way... And interprets these prompts the way that makes sense to them and I think that that's really cool okay I'm definitely cutting down my panda we'll just kind of bring it together here there you guys can go over there. I think we're done with you. So the panda's going to go somewhere when we're done. I've got my piece. I've got my recipe. I could put my recipe here. My book page. I like the gas plant. It, again, this is more of a memory for me than it is for anybody else. I don't know that you would remember... I don't know how many of you might remember that type of a gas plant, but you have to be a certain age, I guess. Okay, I'm looking for my glues. My other glue seems to be missing, so I guess we're using this one. I'm having fun with the Marguerite Miller Challenge, and I do say this if you are doing it as well and would like to leave a link in the comments or just let me know. Um, I think that that would be really cool for me to find you and take a look at what you're doing. Because half the fun of this is seeing how different people interpret it. You know, like I said, I'm looking at book page as being, um, that's like there's not even any on it. You saw me put glue, no, you didn't see me put glue on it because I was out of camera. But I did put glue on it. I, honest. There. Now it's sticking. Okay. We'll put you guys down there. I'm thinking. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to go quiet on you. I'm just thinking hard. Thinking hard. Yeah, we do not store gas in great big containers like that anymore. I'm, I don't have the stats on how many of them blew up, but I'm willing to bet it was more than one. Okay, we can come off of our calendar just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to use both parts of this because there's a little bit of an explanation of what this picture is up here. That was the caption. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to put Panda. I want to definitely make Panda a little bit more seeable. But to do that, I'm going to use my black. If I can get to it. Nope, that's gold. That's orange. Where's my black? I need a pair of... I have been, there it is, <coughs> sorry, playing around with a new way of storing some things. And so things are, although they're right there, they're also a little bit messed up yet. I don't, I'm not used to it. So I'm going to put a little bit of black around the edge to give it just a little definition. Yeah, I have always loved pandas. One of my first stuffed animals when I was a little kid, I had a teddy bear and I had a panda. And the panda had a jingle bell in its ear. And I loved that thing. I, in fact, I'm going to be honest with you, I still have it. it. Still sits on my shelf. And his name, you ready for this? Was Panda. there my wild animal i was able to see ling ling and sing sing when they were at the national uh zoo down in washington they it was a it's still the only time i have ever seen live pandas and it was so cool i'm just telling you if you ever get a chance to see a real panda and they were eating it was dinner or dinner time lunch time i don't know but they were eating bamboo and it was so much fun to watch I loved it. Okay, my chocolate chip cookies, I think, are going to go up here. But I'm attaching these differently. I'm going to attach these with some uh, washi tape. I don't have any black or white. Oh, I do. Wait. I'm going to pause you. I do have black and white washi tape. Sorry, trying to sit now. Okay, I'm back. I have really kind of moved my camera around a little bit. Make sure we're back in frame here. And I have some black and white washi tape. I did remember that I had some. So I pulled some out. And I'm because this is such a specific geometric design, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Normally I would just rip it. But I'm going to cut this one. And let's add a little bit of extra glue to the back. Put my card down here. And I'm going to hinge it. Not so much that I, so I can read the, the uh, piece, but because, or the recipe, but because I have writing on the back. This is, this I actually wrote oh, a couple years ago, so it's not my current handwriting. Our handwriting does change over the years, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to flip that so you can see the rest of the directions. I'll put that on there, and now it has a little bit of a hinge. Let me trim up the hinge a little bit. This part I will rip off. Okay, I have a paper here somewhere to put it on to, and I don't know where it's gone to. There, there it is. 
I'm starting a new one. I have taken the other one um, and cut it up. So there we go. But I think we need just a little bit more just to give this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Balance. Just to give it balance. Again, something that you begin to realize and learn about as you are going along. Now, yes, because my my calendar doesn't take it doesn't cover the entire page. I've got a little bit showing out out here, but that's okay. So I have two of those. I I like to do things in threes. So let me cut one more. And put it one more place. And um, I think I'm going to do here, 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 this way. Okay, let's open you up. We'll cover up Thursday. There. I think it still needs something down here. Those, that's just not enough. Um, and I don't want any more washi tape. I don't think I want anything more out of the... Oh, you know what? There we go. We haven't put this down. All right, you know what we can do? We can do is a little bit of this washi tape. Watch this. Okay, we're just going to... Get that started again. We don't need very much of it because I'm going to cut it in half. Let me set that there. Of course, I just put my glue away. And we'll put you here. Now we can do a lot of, I think I'll just leave it like that, which gives me a little piece of washi tape over here that still needs to be used up. I don't want to just leave it there. And besides which now I'm on an even number of those pieces of washi. So I need to put another one in to make an odd number. There we go. All right, so this is the Marguerite Miller Challenge week nine, and I hope you're having a good time watching these. I need to say a welcome to all of the new subscribers. There are a lot of you. Um, I think that's wonderful. I, YouTube seems to be being nice to me. If you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, the like button lets... Well, actually, both of those metrics let YouTube know that you are enjoying these videos. And then they put me up on more people's videos and more people watch them. And it works out really, really well, at least for me. So I appreciate it very, very much. All right. This is Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 9 and Cindy signing off.